Hey Exiles, how we doing? We are back playing some more Saga of Survival. How we going guys? Okay, so um, first of all, I actually want to say a big thank you to everyone um, in regards to my last video. Um, if you guys haven't seen that, I do encourage you to check it out. I will pop it somewhere um, in the little card description thingy about that there. But uh, thank you so much for watching, commenting more importantly, liking the video and also subscribing as well. So a massive uplift since um, that video went up and um, from where I was to where I am now, it doesn't seem like a, um, you know, a, a massive jump, but uh, something to sort of get the needle moving and I'm really, really thankful for that. So thank you so much. Uh, for checking out the video, giving me your opinions on everything. Uh, the conversations that I've had with quite a number of you guys there have been full on. Um, so it's been pretty much probably my most active uh, video that I've had to date. So yeah, really, really, really thank you so much for you know jumping on board, checking it out and sharing your thoughts and opinions about uh, the matter, which is all to do with the whole rating system. Uh, that the developers have finally popped onto the game now as an update as per 1.14 update. At the moment, we're up to 14.2 uh, right now. So now that rating has actually had some time to sort of settle, sink in um, and sort of bed itself in, I thought I just wanted to sort of go now um, past, have a look and sort of revisit everything with regards to what has happened to myself with my base as just sort of a bit of a re-update. If you guys are only just watching this for the first time, um, and hadn't seen my previous video, do definitely check that out. You guys don't want to miss, um, not seeing that video. So that, as I said, will be linked somewhere in the card, a uh, little setup in this video, but otherwise, um, sort of going back to it, just to recap, I lost a hell of a lot of items, um, as you would have, uh, may remember, uh, during, uh, the raiding spree that has happened. And look, I've only got about a day before, um, this may, I don't know if this is actually going to be, uh, and so until the next attack. Okay. So there's no set timer on this. So, which is a good thing so far. So good. Um, thankfully I haven't actually been raided since the first and only initial one. So, um, pretty fortunate. And I've got one more day, uh, a bit over one more day before I can actually flick on the disabled switch. So I'll be immune to attacks moving forward. So, um, with that being said, now this is just my assessment and what I think of the, the whole, um, rating situation and what that sort of means to you guys. And yeah, it's going to be a bit of a discussion video. And I'm out on the Rocky Spies again um, because I've lost a bit of raw materials, which I'm not going to use tokens just to get back. So my theory behind that is instead of using something that you shouldn't be using or you could, um, I may as well, you know, invest some time and just sort of, you know, regrind some of that, which is not going to take too long, to be honest with you. So it's the reason why we're doing it and the reason why I've taken you out to the Spies today for this video. But anyway, so... The whole rating situation, look, a lot of people are worried about it and, you know, are not, you know, willing to participate and which is fine. And I'm going to sort of come to full circle once I sort of, you know, bring this all into light. And you guys who've been watching me for the longest time know how I sort of operate and how I explain things and I go pretty in depth with it. And hopefully that doesn't sort of bore some of you guys that are wanting to sort of you know, get my views and opinions on it. But if you bear with me, I, I would really appreciate that. So, yeah. So when you sort of go into the overworld and you guys are checking out, you know, who you can raid and who you can't raid, at the moment, um, for the longest time so far, I haven't seen anyone close by to me that I can immediately raid um, from the start of this uh, update to where we are now. And if I search further enough, and I might actually show you further along the line as well. And actually, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's just jump out real quick and I'll sort of elaborate what I'm sort of trying to explain. So, so far, everyone has their protection up. So, you know, example one up here. So novice protection in, in effect, meaning a few things, meaning that they're not up the level to, or they haven't actually crafted the locksmith table. I think that's probably the fair assessment to say. And if I sort of go down further down here, this is where I sort of noticed it beforehand. Um, hopefully I'll find it for you guys on camera. I'm just going to zoom out real quick. 
Okay, so we've got this fella here. So I can actually go ahead and attack him if I really wanted to. Development, uh, de sorry, uh, defense once, uh, one shield, development five stars. And then if you see everyone else, once I click out of that, uh, either in their um, protection mode. So these guys are actively playing. And then you've got another one over there as well. So two more hours before we can actually go ahead. And this guy's got one more next day in a bit to um, be rated once more if you guys are willing. Um, Exile has disabled and that's what you're going to find commonly around the map now if you guys haven't worked that out already. Novice protection in place, you can see he's level 46, so you guys get the idea. And I just wanted to sort of elaborate that. But I don't know whether or not this is um, bugged or not working at the moment, but it, you don't see anyone nearby that you can actually attack. I can still check out my guy that attacked me if I go over here. He's got another two days on his timer, so it looks like he's actually been raiding. Um, because as what you've seen before, my um, my countdown time is a lot less than, um, than his there anyway. So I just wanted to sort of bring that up and just sort of get you guys up to speed with that. So yes, I am going to be switching it off for now and I'm going to tell you why later on. So yeah, so everyone is very, very cautious and I do get that, completely respect that as well and why wouldn't you be so especially if you guys haven't uh, prepared yourselves enough or to a point where you feel confident that you can actually get yourselves involved into a raid and you have um, yourself minimal uh, casualties and loss of items and whatever that might be or what that might mean to you guys is you know uh, to your discretion so so the reason why that I made the video that I made and particularly I just sort of decided last minute and I didn't want to defend my base and put any sort of protection in place to, you know, assist in that space. Uh, you know, my sacrifice is for your benefit, okay? And, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be worried that I'm going to be losing certain items and I can't recover certain items because some of them are obviously you can't get um, easy. You can only get them through random... Um, uh, clan events, things like that, so it is what it is. Anyway, I just wanted to sort of show you what it would be like if you guys didn't have proper defenses and you only relied on your base. That's basically the result. So, my advice for you guys in that space there is to not start PvP if you guys are half ready, 40%, 50 60 70 80 even 90% ready. You guys want to make sure that you guys are 110% ready to go before you actually get yourself involved into a raid. And, and this is basically trying to get yourself more into a strategic mindset, how you guys want to defend your base and what traps and things like that that you want to implement before you actually go right ahead and do just that. So that's my thought process on it. And I've got an idea what I want to do with my base moving forward. I'm not going to disclose that information for obvious reasons because I would like to actually get back into raiding and I, I want to sort of participate in that. And, you know, and this rolls on into, you know, the good things about raiding, you know, in any sort of shape, form or fashion to where it is right now, to where it could possibly lead to later on if um, there's further development on, um, on the subject here. So... For me, raiding is the thrill. It's not knowing what you're going to get out of it and the time it takes for you to, you know, get yourselves prepared and um, and dive right into it. So I guess that's the biggest thing. And other things as well is that, you know, you guys can get items that you may have never had access to before um, and that might actually help you in certain areas. You know, you might come across a full chest that might have, you know, um, full stacks of raw materials, so say like iron, clay, things like that. You know, by doing that raid, yes, it may not be the most exciting thing that you may have wanted to get from it, but it basically puts you a little bit of um, in advance ahead of time to, you know, um, put your focus and attention to other things. So, you know, let's say you got a whole stack of iron plates or um, possibly even, you know, uh, clay bricks, you know, we all know how long it takes and how draining it is to, you know, craft up clay bricks and iron bars and things like that. So, you know, things like that. And, and that's what I sort of look at from that perspective, which is a good thing. 
and it also puts your attention towards the whole rating idea in itself so if you're one of those players a high level player i'm going to focus on you guys in particular that have been with the game for the longest time and have only played this game full time i mean you know if i was only playing this game myself i'd probably be a lot further uh further along than what i am now so um, if I only put all my foc uh, my focus, attention and time and effort into it, then yeah, I'll be one of those type of players. But for myself, I'm sort of on that borderline where I'm sort of getting towards that point. But I, I know I still have a lot more, um, a lot more to go, a lot more time to offer, you know, in time and investment into the game. So I believe they're probably the, the good attributes towards the whole rating idea. Now obvious disclaimer with everything and, and and anything that you do with any sort of thing in the game or any uh, and that goes for any other type of games that you might be playing you know if you don't like what you see you don't opt into it and it's just as simple as that guys so if you don't like the rating system that's fine don't invest time into it don't activate it and you go on with your merry way and this is where there's a lot of debate and a little bit of a, I wouldn't say a debacle or anything like that, but a lot of people have been wanting a PvP or co-op system or something to that extent to, you know, um, have something different to what, you know, to how they're playing the game now. They've played, you would have by now played several, you know, survival based games. This is a little bit different to the norm, you know, and it's not a, it hasn't been a heavy emphasis on the pay to win structure and there's other games out there that are really set up in that way and i'm not going to go ahead and name any of those games it's just going to be you know for you for you guys to sort of work that out or if you guys know what i'm talking about then you know i digress otherwise we are at a point now where the game needs to be slowed down and i think that's probably a, a good omen to be honest with you and the game is rapidly evolving and it does come to a point where there is that we're going to have an imbalance effect at the moment so what i mean by that is simply that we've got a lot of high level players that are now um getting to a point where they want something more and that's fine and this is where rating sort of has come into um into the fray and this is something that it's probably a good a good thing to sort of bring up so if you go into raid the expectation for yourself would be is that you guys are going to be completely pre um, prepared hopefully you guys would be on a higher level structure than compared to a lot of people that have only just accessed you know say the locksmith table and have flicked on the pvp ability so if you've done that if you're one of those players i would recommend switching it off if you're only just access pvp if you guys are a lot more well um, ingrained in the game and you guys have um, all the resources in the world or you've got yourself high defences, if you've played the, the game right, then you guys would have a problem in doing PvP. So with that being said, there's got to be some sort of um, balance to this game and it may not come across as the possibly the right thing to say for a lot of people because I know a lot of people you know want certain things in the game and this is where I believe and uh, and the people that I've spoken to uh, at this point I'm not going to go ahead and name names but I'm speaking to um, uh, a few people in you know with regards to uh, ties to this game so I'm just going to leave it at that and we've come to sort of the same type of conclusion where I think for a lot of people the expectation was given wrong wrongfully possibly you know from a development perspective with good intentions but the expectation side of things have changed uh, quite dramatically so i sort of refer to the development roadmap and as as good and nice as it was and to how we sort of got given and fed the information um it was sort of like a double-edged sword because there's an expectation from the developer side of things to deliver and provide that expectation to people and people wanting that demand um, for what they have um, were all oh, sorry, sorry were resp uh, expecting to get from it so I think that sort of goes hand in hand and now we've sort of gotten to a point where we have um, pretty much um, gotten what we've wanted you know do we move on to something next and leave rating for what it is as it is I don't believe that's that should be the case so this is where I want to sort of give my feedback now. 
And yes, I'm sorry for not explaining it up front kind of thing because I just want to sort of come full circle with it. So here it is. As good as what rating is, there's some things that may need to be addressed. And this only comes from feedback. And I've said it to a few people and I'm going to say to you guys that are watching, if you guys are wanting to make feedback to the developers, you, you go right ahead. But what I would recommend and suggest for you guys is to give constructive, good feedback back. You know, oh, sorry, yeah, proper feedback. Don't sort of give, you know, a, a comment saying, you know, PvP sucks or it's stupid or I'm not going to do it or, you know, and sort of have, have a bit of a, um, a you know, a, a bit of a childish attack towards it. It, it. It's really not necessary. And if we sort of give ourselves proper um, feedback to the developers, reasonings as to why we think we should have what we have or what we should have or if there's a change that needs to be made this is why that we want to make that um, suggestion then that's where that's how you sort of want to sort of um, I guess pitch it in a sense so for me um, my suggestions would be the following if you're going to enter a raid um, instead of having a full seven days as a turnaround time you probably want to maybe make it you know half that time I would say three and a half to four days maximum I think that's probably a good a good idea and to sort of refine that the next part I would probably recommend is the whole um, sorry I'm gonna refer back to my notes because I have written a few things down as well so sorry I'm just on my second device here all right so the whole random loss of items okay so Yes, so the people that I've been speaking to about this, this is how by design at the time that the developers wanted to implement this. And again, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna throw this back to the end game players right now at, at this point. So end game players basically, you know, you're obviously more at risk for losing such items, but naturally in turn that you'd be more amongst one of the more prepared out there to, you know, uh, survive any sort of attack that comes your way compared to a lower level person or someone that's not um, prepared for it prior to that. Um, I believe the whole randomized system in my opinion might not be the best practice in doing it anyway as a whole but again this was sort of more designed to um, you know be implemented for those higher level players, end game players. For us lower game players right now it's probably not the right, the right thing to have or the right thing to do to make a significant change let's say you know only have randomized um, a looting or loss of items to certain level players I think that would probably be the wrong thing to do as well you either have it all or you have it for none kind of thing and that's where you go back to the case and go okay we need to sort of make a change or you just leave it as is so again that's just um, my uh, constructive feedback uh, to the developers so if you guys watching it I'm hoping that you guys sort of um, take some notes down or maybe take some of those suggestions on board whether you what you choose to do is up to you guys so um, because I don't believe that we should be rated for areas of our base that the exile has been um, or sorry the raider has raided um, and I sort of made that that point apparent when I showed you my previous video. So again, everything, um, big references. You got you got to go back to my previous video on that one anyway to sort of check that out. <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, so basically that's my um, my thought process about the whole random loss of items. My my suggestion would be is to only lose items that the exile has actually reached into the said room. I think that might be more of a fair assessment. Yes, it may um, uh, result in a higher frequency in certain lost items, but this comes back to your playing style and what you guys should be uh, wanting to protect and how to protect your items, you know, in that sort of sense there. If someone destroys your whole base, then it is what it is. And then that's basically comes down to your defenses and protection. Um, that sort of comes into play. So again, take that as you will. That's just my suggestion. Okay, so getting to the next part of what my suggestion would be for the developers. Um, okay, so 
item recovery. So the tokens needed or used to recover items is way too high, especially for um, lost items that you know the the raider may have, may or may not have taken away from you in the first place. So I'm gonna leave that there for now. Um, yeah, so I believe that's probably something that we need to sort of revisit, reduce the. Um, uh, the amount of tokens required to you know recoup some of those items and it's good and it's bad because depending on how you guys look at it if you guys don't raid or if you guys aren't attacked again you still by by the, by the looks of things keep those items in your recovery system until you sort of you know work them back into your um, into your vault so I guess that's a good thing but then also a bad thing because you don't know when you're going to get raided next and what's going to be lost and those other items may not be recoverable again, or if not, won't be recoverable. So again, that's just my opinion. I think we should have a lowering of all the items that we need to recover or that we can recover. Um, that's just my that's just my assessment on that one there. This thing is about to die, so I'm not gonna worry about that. And let's get that. Anyway, <clears throat> that's probably my next, well, that was my, um, uh, third actually yeah uh, third suggestion so my fourth suggestion is the walls appear to be easy to break through pretty much what we've got on npc bases where we all that we need is pretty much one of these bad boys and we're good to go um which is fine i get that and it just sort of encourages us to get into the whole rating system all that sort of stuff uh, how much anthracite do i have i think i've pretty much got everything there anyway so yeah, so I think that's probably one thing to sort of look at, um, that it's way too easy to destroy walls for people that are getting raided. And this is, comes down to the whole defense side of things, especially if you've got a whole bunch of stone walls um, that are broken, it's gonna take a bit of time for you to actually recover from that. So this is where I sort of loop back to the, the whole disable of PVP from the locksmith table. I think we should shorten that down just so we've got the ability to um, pretty much save our base without it getting destroyed further. So that's probably another point I wanted to bring up. The next point will be, just reading again. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so for anything that we lose um, off our base, so walls, whatever it might be, there should be some sort of capacity for us to recover lost uh, materials from that or a percentage of it and I think that's fair so we can recoup some items back um, or you know even potentially maybe say 50% and I think that's probably a good idea and it just sort of saves us from you know going back out and trying to re scavenge and grind again to try and build our our defenses back up a suggestion of 50% may be too extreme in a good sense for a lot of people um, because it might be too much or you might want to go to say maybe uh, a third of the way maybe at 35 to 40% materials return to the person that's been raided I think that might be a good suggestion there so that's just my opinion on that one there um, okay so and I think that's pretty much it that I sort of wanted to cover um, with regards to the whole system there and look you guys may agree you may not agree and that's and this is where you know where we all have a voice and have an opinion and this is where I encourage you guys to you know make those suggestions and again as I said you guys got to make it in a good sense with good faith you can't sort of you know go around and sort of bash anyone you know, um, you know on a you know from a keyboard from a computer whatever you guys are sort of using, whether it be mobile or whatever it might be. So um, I feel like if we actually do the right thing and, you know, suggest things in, in goodwill, hopefully some of these will get looked at and sort of get refined. So a couple of other things I wanted to sort of touch on is the, the state of the game and where it's at at the moment. So prior to getting the additional levels to, um, you know, access in the Cursed Forest to get elm trees and things like that, the game at the moment is still in beta. It's still in development. It ha it's not a full release. So that's what we all sort of got to understand as well at the same time. It's not a full-fledged game as of yet and pretty much on par with 
you know, 95, if not close to 100% of other um, survival style games in this genre that are not completely um, developed. You know, it's still getting, um, you know, upgraded, it's still getting tweaked, it's still getting refined. So some of the conversations that I've had with some of the, um, with, with some of the guys through Discord is pretty much that when Elm got introduced, the game got pretty much um, increased in terms of end gameness to around about level 50. Prior to that, it was roughly around the level 30, if not a little bit more than that. And I say that now because a lot of people now that have gotten the ability to get themselves all the element that they needed and which was a sticking point for a lot of people and, you know, myself was included in that. Um, so now that we've got Elm, a lot of people are now looking to ores and meteorite and all those um, type of uh, elements that we need to further progress. So this is now, again, a, a slowdown of, you know, from the developer's point of view to, you know, sort of reduce uh, people getting too far in advance into the whole, um, uh, you know, end game sort of thing, you know, and it gives us something to do. And this is where things like rating does come into play to, you know, sort of reduce, um, you know, play progression to an extent and it might sort of open up in other attributes and areas. So you guys sort of take it how it is and, and how you feel about that. But that's just my opinion on it. And that's what we sort of come to as, an, as a conclusion where, you know, um, the developers are sort of operating at a sense where they can only uh, provide so much resource and, um, and updates and upgrades and things like that until, you know, the, the majority of people sort of move along and get to that sort of point too. But eventually it will get updated, it will get upgraded and people will sort of get, um, you know, to exercise. Um, some of those new found options that do come into the game. So for now, I believe, I think that is a good time for everyone to sort of slow down with the progressional status of the game and sort of, you know, reflect back on some of the updates that have been implemented and then start to refine. Because if we refine and if we build on that, it sort of helps with the prolong of the game in a sense, but also help us enjoy the game a little bit more and I'm referring back to the rating system and that's just my opinion on that but I want to see what you guys think about everything else as well what I've said I know I've been talking about this for quite quite a long time now so yeah it's one of these longer videos so I do apologize but I hope you guys sort of stuck it out up until then um, you know for me to know that you guys have watched the video leave a hashtag at the end hashtag made it towards the end if you guys have been watching this just so i know you guys have actually watched the video from start to where it is now i would really appreciate that but i want you guys to comment down below what you think about what i've mentioned what do you guys think um like the video please guys that will really help me out a lot um, especially you know pushing this up the recommend uh, recommendation page if you guys don't want to miss out on any future videos, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, guys. Really help me out. Notification bell, all that sort of good stuff. But we're going to leave it here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.